Millions in the east are bracing for a possible snowy weekend. And let me remind you, the calendar says it'll be spring on Sunday. Yeah, believe it or not, meantime, more violent hail could pound parts of the south again today. Severe storms ripped through the Dallas-Fort Worth area yesterday, leaving behind a trail of destruction. The storms damaged several cars and businesses and caused widespread power outages. Chief weathercaster Lonnie Quinn from our New York station is tracking that storm and a possible nor'easter that could dump inches of snow this weekend. Well, here's what's going on. I'll start you off with a look at the radar picture. You can see there's lots of inclement weather out there. But what you cannot see from a radar signature is this big pool of cold air up around the northern Great Lakes. Now, that pool of cold air will be dropping south into the northeast at the same time that the storm around Wichita will be getting its act together. It scoots down towards the Gulf of Mexico, gathers some more moisture, comes out along the Atlantic seaboard, and if it travels right up, along the coastline, well, we have a big storm on our hands and it's going to be a springtime storm because it will take place on Sunday. If it goes further out to sea, well, not so much. Here's what I want to share with you. As of right now, three of the big four computer models are saying this is going to come right up the eastern seaboard. Watch it develop. Here it comes. It will be talking snow for the northeast and up into New England. Uh, how much snow are we looking at? If you're along the coast, I think there's going to be some mixing. There'll be some rain involved and some sleet as well, mixed in with snow later. But we're talking maybe one to three inches along the coastline. I-95 corridor, I think it's a pretty wide swath of three to six. And then you get to this area, this dark blue color, anywhere from like portions of the Hudson Valley outside of New York City, all the way up into New England, six, 10 inches more of snow for some spots out there. And in the ski areas, are loving something like this. It's been a tough winter for them. Everybody else, you get the snow, it'll be around for a hot second because it's going to melt very, very quickly. It'll be 50 and 60 by the time we get into next week.